I am in the middle of the desert now. Uh, we are just waiting for a few more cars to come by and then we will continue from here. Uh, it's four o'clock now as you can see there are cars behind me and there are cars in front of me as well so, so I think somebody has got stuck and uh, the rescue team is uh, rescuing them from the pit uh, we aren't supposed to be here at this hour but uh, on the way there were a few cars which got stuck and uh, they were to be rescued and actually there was no other way for anyone uh, to go past okay so that is the reason why you know there was a long delay and the cars kind of piled up uh, one behind the other and uh, eventually that car got rescued so now uh, after this uh, we are heading to the camp uh, maybe around six so I'm afraid uh, it will be dark when I reach the camp uh, and I and I don't like driving uh, at night in the desert. I'm not used to it. You can't see the dunes properly and uh, even the track. So, uh, so let's see where I reach and when I reach. A few minutes later. Sitting inside for some time, I decided to head out and see what was the reason for the holdup. Walking ahead, I could see cars lining up to cross the point. Apparently, a crew car's tyre got punctured and later on that car needed to be winched out from the pit. thousand years later.
hello guys so i am back at the camp and this is my car uh, we are at a different place than what we were last night uh, we were somewhere over there that side and uh, it's 5 15 it's been a long ride today uh, guys are tired even me we have covered almost 35 kilometers uh, tomorrow again we'll be starting off at 8 a.m and we'll be heading down to Muscat. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sunset just behind me. Guys, just take a look at this. It looks like the footprint of a lizard right next to my tent. I don't know from where it has come, but uh, this looks like somewhere below down there not sure. Anyhow, it will not get into the pen. <laughs> After having a well-deserved dinner, I was back in my tent. Hello guys, so this is day two of my trip and uh, today's day to say in one word was exhausting. The heat was too much to an extent that the iPhone was throwing warnings and uh, even GoPro that they were too hot to function so I couldn't record videos of my last tour uh, and I feel really bad that I couldn't record anything uh, because that particular piece of stretch was you can say it will give you an adrenaline rush okay so uh, that kind of a uh, route that was and I was so upset by the time I reached the camp that, you know, uh, both couldn't function. I couldn't record it at all. And uh, so that was my day today. I just got stuck once and uh, I was bellied. Uh, being stuck is not a problem. Everybody gets stuck, but giving up is, which I didn't. Uh, eventually, I got rescued. Uh, the, the team just pulled my car back and uh, they were able to get my car back on track so tomorrow again it's the same schedule um, I'll be starting from here at 9 a.m. tomorrow and I'll be packing this entire stuff with me and I will be heading down to Muscat uh, but before that we will be on the desert uh, until 12:30. so this is a plan for tomorrow and uh, I feel that you know this was a great trip I usually take such trips uh, so that I can be more grateful for things around me uh, including loved ones uh, and smaller things like technology okay uh, I am away from the internet I am away from the cellular uh, signal so I cannot talk I cannot browse uh, plus living like this okay without uh, any luxurious amenities actually helps you value things around you so once in a year uh, if you are living in a city uh, with so many things around you uh, you must actually go out somewhere to some place where you don't have the luxury around you this is my my opinion this is what the way I do uh, once in a year just go out uh, and you know you can then feel so grateful about things around you <sighs> that being said uh, this is Saint Rohant signing off and uh, I'll see you tomorrow take care which gear are you using? lower uh -oh. I am in a bit of a problem now. Alright, I am not losing hope. 